In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a 30 newton force being applied on a three kilogram book at an angle of 30 degrees below the horizontal. And we're going to solve for the minimum value for the coefficient of static friction that keeps it from sliding. Now, in order to solve a problem like this, we're going to analyze the forces. So let's go ahead and draw our forces acting on the book. So we have an FG pulling it straight down. And then if we're keeping the book from sliding downwards, then we have a force of static friction that is opposing that slide. And then when there's a force being applied to it at a 30 degree angle, there is an X and Y component to it. We have a vertical component over here and we have a horizontal component over here. So we can go ahead and call this the applied force X component. And we'll go ahead and call this the FA, the applied force Y component. And then here is the original applied force itself, which is the hypotenuse of the triangle. Okay. And then as you push that book against the wall, there's going to be a normal force perpendicular from the surface. So then we're going to have a force um, coming out of this book to the right. Okay, so I'm just going to put the arrow to the right just so it doesn't bump into the rest of my force vectors. Um, but normally I'd probably draw the arrow coming out of the book this way to show the FN. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and draw the sum of forces in the X and Y direction. And then as soon as we have those two formulas set up, we're going to go ahead and plug in some numbers and see what we get for the mu sub S. All right, so we have our two formulas set up. We have the sum of forces in the X direction. In the horizontal direction, we have the X component of our applied force pushing the book into the wall. And then we have the normal force, the um, perpendicular force from the wall pushing to the right. So Fn minus Fax equals zero newtons because there's no movement or acceleration in the X direction. So in the end, Fn, the normal force, equals the X component of our applied force. In the vertical direction, we have an FAY, which is the Y component of our applied force, plus the force of static friction acting upwards, minus FG, the only one going downwards, and that also equals zero because we have a book at rest. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to do a little bit of trig and solve for the different parts of our triangle. So because our 30 degree angle is right over here, um, we're going to use sine so that we can go opposite over hypotenuse. And we're basically going to do 30 newtons times the sine of 30 degrees for our FAY. And that's going to give us 15 newtons. And then for our FAX, because it's on the adjacent side to our 30 degree angle, we are going to end up doing the hypotenuse of 30 newtons times the cosine of 30 degrees and that's going to give us 25.98 newtons okay so now we have all the values we need at the moment and one more value we can get is our fg which is equal to mg the mass times 9.8 and then 3 times 9.8 is going to give us 29.4 newtons so let's go ahead and start plugging in some numbers. So we know that our FAX is 25.98. So we know that our normal force is equal to 25.98 Newtons as well. And then below over here, we have our Y component, which is 15 Newtons plus the force of static friction, which we don't know quite yet, minus 
the 21.4 Newtons from Fg. Okay, now in some cases, if you apply enough force, the static friction it doesn't have to act to oppose a slide, but it looks like we're pushing up with 15 and we have 29.4 Newtons of Fg going down. So we are gonna need static friction to help us out and oppose that slide. So if we go ahead and take 15 minus 29.4, that's gonna leave us with 14.4. So the force of static friction is 14.4 Newtons. Now, when you wanna solve for a force of friction, it's always the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. And it turns out that we do have the normal force. It's right up here. So we can set that equal to 25.98 Newtons. times the coefficient of that static friction and then divide both sides by 25.98. And that gives us a coefficient of static friction of 0 0.55. Now there are several variations to this problem where you might have to work your way backwards and then solve for an FA. Um, so to work out those different variations, you would still use a setup that's similar to this one, the sum of forces in the X and the sum of forces in the Y. And then you would make sure you get enough values until you can solve for one part of the triangle, which would be the FAY or the FAX. And then once you have one part of the triangle, your FAX or your FAY, you can go ahead and use that 30 degree angle and some trig and work backwards to find the hypotenuse of your triangle. So I hope that was helpful in helping you solve for the value of mu sub s, the coefficient of static friction. Thank you for watching and listening.